Hi guys, Dr. Nicole here. So today I am going to do a video about oral cancer screenings. April is Oral Cancer Awareness Month, so what I want to do is I'm going to bring Jen into the chair. She's very excited about it. And we are going to show you guys how to have a proper oral health evaluation and screening done. Um, if you have any questions about it when we're done, please let us know, but we'll go from there. All right, let's take a look. All right, so say hi, Jen. Hi. So Jen's here to be my guinea pig to show you guys how to, a proper head and neck oral evaluation should be conducted. So there are only two things that you need to have a proper head and neck exam done. First thing is you need a piece of gauze. And the second thing is you need a very bright light that everybody loves to get shown into their face. Okay. So there are four areas that we most commonly find oral head and neck cancer that can be seen visually in your mouth. Those are on the back corners of your tongue, the floor of your mouth, the roof of your mouth, and in the back corners of the cheeks. Okay. So in order to properly have a oral cancer screening conducted, there are four different steps. So the first step is, all right, Jan, you ready? I'm ready. You have your tongue stuck out straight. So stick your tongue straight out. We grab your tongue with the gauze. We look from one side. You look great. Look on the other. Good. Okay, that's part one. The next thing is, is you open your mouth and put your tongue up at the top of your mouth. And we feel down below. Make sure there's no bumps, bruises, something doesn't feel right, lymph nodes that are swollen, all of those wonderful things. Gauze is also very helpful to wipe slobber off. So don't worry if you slobber on me, not a big deal. Okay. Next thing is we check the roof of the mouth. So I'll have you tilt your head up, open, take a look inside. Everything looks good. And then last but not least, you close and we check the lips. Check the inside, the bottom, go from there. Just so you know, Jen is cancer free in her mouth that I can see right now. So well done, my dear. So if you guys have any questions about this, would like to ask anything further, feel free, give us a call. But until then, keep on brushing.